This is for P. Bacchus, who asked that I give an uh, idea of how moving and shooting works in Chain of Command. This one will be moving. Now, I did uh, link to a series of uh, playlists that I've saved of Two Fat Lardies and Eddie making some videos. Uh, they go into lots of detail on how the game plays. I'll just show you briefly um, how you move and shoot. First move. Um, it's real simple. Uh, once you're able to give the command, either as a team, this gun, or these guys as a rifle team, or as a junior leader commanding the squad, or a team, or both, or as a senior leader, you can say, I want you to move. Now, um, you can do something called tactical movement, in which you roll 1d6. It's like, I'm going to move over here, and you roll, and you get a 3, so they can move 3 inches. And then they're in tactical deployment. You have some sort of marker that shows that. And basically that means they're taking the best cover they can. They're either crawling, they're going low, they can't fire, they can't do anything else once, they, once they've done that. <clears throat> um, but tactical is good, and you get tactical advantage while you're going. And basically you're in one cover better than, than you are. So these guys are in the open. So if they did tactical movement for three inches, they'd be in light cover. And then you put tactical, and they're in light cover the whole time. If they moved into here, this would be the same. Let's say this was light cover. Then they would be considered in hard cover once they got in there. Um, and if you're in a building that's hard cover already, you, you're in tactical, you have hard cover. So I don't really know the advantage of being in tactical um, in a hard cover, in a hard building. Um, normal movement is 1d6. Oh, I'm sorry, normal move and fire. Roll a D, six, move five inches, and then you fire at half effect, rounding down. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rifles in that team, so they would fire at three dice. Okay, the next one is normal movement. So normal movement, no fire, you just roll the D6. Whoops, roll two D6. Four inches. Obviously, you'd average seven. Again, you move four inches. No firing allowed. That's it. And then the last one is at the double. You roll three d6. So uh, five, six, seven. <laughs> There's your average of seven. You move it at the double. But each fire team takes one point of shock per team. So these guys would take a point of shock, and these guys would take a point of shock. We can get into shock later. Basically, you don't want the shock to build up to too high, or it starts to affect your performance of your team. Uh, something I need to cover is what do you do on various terrain types. So on this open ground here, there's no penalties. You just roll the dice as normal, like I just said. If it's broken ground, so let's call this broken like fields, you could even call this, like if it was crops, it's supposed to be crops, but I don't have high height, call that broken. You could even call like this broken, just to slow you down a little bit. Basically, you can't move at the double, which means, remember that was 3d6, all infantry moves the same speed. Heavy going, uh, this would be like, you could call this heavy going, perhaps it's muddy, uh, woods, uh, jungle, I don't know, anyway, um, no moving at the double, so you can't do that. And then your tactical and normal movement, you take one pip, you know, one pip meaning, you know, one point or whatever, one pip from each d6 of movement. So remember, tactical was one, normal move and fire was one, and normal movement is two. So basically, if I rolled this one for normal movement, say just normal movement, it would be one pip from each die, so you'd only move two, two inches. Hope that makes sense. And then there's really heavy going. I think that's what they call like jungle, uh, things like that. That's no moving at the double. Tactical and normal have two pips off from each D6 of movement. So that would be zero if it was really heavy going. Or, again, well, two from each one, so that would be zero and two, so you'd move one inch. Dang, that would be tough. All right, so that's that. Um, leaders move with their unit just automatically, or if they if you needed their leader to move somewhere else by himself, he could use one of his initiative points. Um, one of his initiatives could be to activate these guys and another initiative to go, to move on their own. They suffer all the same penalties for movement on ground. 
The only difference is they don't suffer shock when they run at the double. If they are wounded, their movement is reduced to a maximum of 2d6, so they couldn't add the double with 3. All right.